Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on DynamoDB RCU and WCU. So this is read capacity unit and this is write capacity units. So provision mode in DynamoDB. So under provision mode uh, in DynamoDB we have this feature called read capacity units and write capacity units. And uh, in provision mode users define the number of reads and writes they expect their applications to perform per second. This allows for tailored capacity based on the specific needs or your business requirements. One of the key, one of the advantages of provision mode is the ability to use auto scaling. This feature automatically adjusts the table's provision capacity in response to varying traffic, ensuring optimal performance without manual intervention. Cost predictability. Opting for provision mode offers the benefit of cost predictability. By governing DynamoDB usage to stay within a specified request rate, users can better manage and predict their expenses. And this mode is especially beneficial for applications with predictable traffic, consistent usage, or those that can anticipate capacity needs. So read capacity units in DynamoDB. In DynamoDB, a read capacity unit is a measure that represents the reading capability. Specifically, one read capacity unit is equivalent to one strongly consistent read per second for an item that is up to 4 kilob kilobyte in size. So 4 KB in size, just remember this one. And alternatively, it can handle two eventual consistent reads per second for the same item size. Next, we have transactional read request. So when dealing with transactional read request, the requirements change. For an item up to 4 KB, you need two read capacity units to achieve one read per second. This is for transactional read. So transactional read is, and let's say you are reading something and you want to make sure uh, this is transactionally correct. So you are reading from one, more than one table. So two tables, three tables. So you can make a transaction, making sure the data is consistent between uh, two or more reads. And uh, item items larger than 4 KB. So if the items you are reading is larger than 4 kilobyte, DynamoDB will need to use more read capacity units. The exact number depends on the size of the item and the type of read consistency you choose. And to give a practical example, for 8 KB item, you would need two read capacity units for a strongly consistent read per second. And if you opt for eventually consistent reads, it drops to one unit. However, for transactional read request, it would require four units. So, Next is write capacity units in DynamoDB. So first is definition. In DynamoDB, a single write capacity unit is defined as the ability to perform one write per second for an item that is up to one kilobyte in size. Item size impact. If the item being written exceeds one kilobyte, additional write capacity units are consumed. The exact number is proportional to the size of the item. So just remember for the read it is 4 KB the limit but for the write uh, uh, this is the hard number 1 KB. Next is transactional write request. Transactional write request have different requirements. For an item up to 1 kilob kilobyte 1 KB 2 write capacity units are needed for 1 write per second. So it is double of the normal uh, write capacity uh, normal write. And as an il illustration, a 2 KB item would need 2 units for a regular write, but 4 units for a transactional write. So next is we will just go through some example, uh, strongly consistent read. So suppose you have an item of 8 kilobyte in size, reading this item with a strongly consistent read would consume 2 read capacity, capacity units because 8 kilobyte divided by 4 kilobyte is 2. So this is for strongly consistent read. Next, eventually consistent read. Using the same 8 kilobyte item, reading this item with an eventually consistent read would consume one read capacity unit because 8 kilobyte divided by 4 KB is 2. But since it is half the cost, it would be 2 divided by 1 by 2. So one RCU. Next is transactional read request. So if you are reading two items as part of a transactional transaction read, each item let's say is 4 KB. For the first item, two RCUs, read, capac uh, read capacity units, since it is 4 KB and transactional reads are two RCUs for every 4 KB. So 
and for the second item two RCUs. So in total four read capacity units for the transactional read request. So one more example uh, transactional read request. Suppose you have a single item of eight kilobyte that you are reading as part of a transaction. For the first four KB two RCUs. For the next four KB again two RCUs. So total four RCUs for this transactional read of an eight kilobyte item. So now we'll have some more examples. Strongly consistent read. So let's say uh, now in this case I am not taking four or uh, eight kilobyte or one because it will make uh, examples more clear. So in this case I have put uh, my item size is nine kilobytes. So it's easier to understand and how much RCU. It will make it more clearer. In fact, actually, so how much RCUs? Strongly consistent read. So for a strongly consistent read, RCU consumption, which we have already uh, studied, one RCU for each strongly consistent read per 4 KB of data. So let's break down the calculation for a 9 KB item. For the first 4 KB, one RCU. For the next 4 KB, again one RCU. For the remaining 1 KB, one RCU, even though it is just 1 KB, it is still consumes the full RCU for up to 4 kilobyte. So adding them up, so 1 plus 1, 3 RCUs. So reading a 9 KB item, 9 kilobyte item with a strongly consistent read would consume 3 RCUs. Next one, next example, strongly consistent read. In this case, my item size is 1 kilobyte, how much RCUs? So for a strongly consistent read, RCU consumption, 1 RCU for each strongly consistent read per 4 KB of data. Given the item size is 1 KB, even though the item is only 1 KB, it, it will still consume the full RCU for up to 4 kilobyte. So reading a 1 KB item with a strongly consistent read would consume one RCU. Eventually consistent read. So in this case, my item size is 9 KB. Eventual. How much RCUs? So for an eventually consistent read, RCU consumption 0.5 RCU for each eventually consistent read per 4 KB of data. So let's break down. First 4 KB 0.5. Next 4 KB 0.5. For the remaining 1 KB 0.5. Even though it is still it is just 1 KB, it still consumes the allotment, full allotment of 4 KB. So I add them up 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1.5. And so reading a 9 KB item with an eventually consistent read would consume 1.5 RCUs. Next, eventually consistent read, my item size is 1 KB, how much RCUs? So for an eventually consistent read, RCU consumption 0 0.5 RCU for each eventually consistent read per 4 KB of data. Given the item size is 1 KB, even though the item is only 1 KB, it will still consume the amount allo allocated for up to 4 KB. So reading a 1 KB item with an eventually consistent read would consume uh, 0.5 RCUs. Next is transactional read request. My item size is 9 KB. How much RCUs? So for transactional read request, 2 RCUs for each re read item up to 4 KB of data. So let's break down the calculation for a 9 KB item. So first 4 KB, 2 RCUs, next again for 2 RCUs, for the remaining again 2 RCUs, even though it is just 1 KB, so it will consume the full uh, allotment, so add them up, 6 RCUs, so 9 KB would consume 6 RCUs for transactional read request. Now last example probably, 1 KB, how much RCUs, so for transactional read request, RCU consumption, 2 RCUs for each read item up to 4 KB. So given the item size is 1 KB, it will, even though the item is only 1 KB, it will still consume the full RCUs allo allocated for up to 4 KB. So reading a 1 KB item as part of a transactional read request would consume 2 RCUs. So we'll just have some on write request, 50 bytes. So this item is less than 1 KB. So it will con uh, consume 1 um, write capacity unit. Let's say 1 KB. This is exactly 1 KB. So 1 d write capacity unit. Let's say 1.5 KB. So this is more than 1 KB, but less than 2 KB. So it gets rounded up and will consume 2 uh, write capacity units. And let's say 3 KB. So this will con uh, consume 3 write capacity units. And let's say if it is 4.9 KB. So this is just a tad under 5 KB. It will still consume 5 write capacity units due to rounding. And one example for transactional write request, 50 bytes. A standard write consumes 1 write capacity unit. So as a transactional write, it would consume two write capacity units. So one KB standard is one write capacity unit. Transactional is two write capacity units. So standard is one and this is double. 
So for 1.5, let's say if the data is 1.5, so standard is 2 write capacity unit, but transactional will be 4. And if let's say item is 3 KB, uh, standard it will consume standard, write will consume 3 uh, write capacity units, but if it is transactional, it will be double, 6 uh, write capacity units. And let's say if it is 4.9 KB, standard will consume, which we have already seen, 5 uh, write capacity units, but transactional will be 10 capacity units. And that's all. Thanks for watching.